Good morning, folks. We have some eye candy here today, both in a new model from NOAA and from the Sphere satellite. We'll also check in on Iceland and hear a repeating story in space weather, and we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. It was another quiet day in terms of solar flaring and eruptions. There are both plasma filaments we're watching and active regions, although at the moment, the active regions are not very complex. The geomagnetic enhancement from two days ago is waned back to calmer conditions, and while we're monitoring the sunspots, most of them are simple and small. My focus is on the only complex grouping, one with multiple surrounding umbral cores in coming on the south. There's also one that you might be able to see that's just crested the limb. I want to get a better look at that one as well. Folks, NOAA has officially put their new geoelectric map up, and it now includes Canada. For the longest time, it was just the United States, but now we've got a more expansive map, and this one so far is already showing how grid density and ground magnetic anomalies have as much to do with the geoelectric excitement from space weather as does geomagnetic latitude. Apparently, the volcanic activity in Iceland may not be done yet. They are saying that another eruption risk is growing after scientists have been monitoring the seismic activity and gas releases. Eyes open on that one. Up next, we're going to see some of the new images from the Sphere device. I've been wondering what these would look like, and it doesn't disappoint. Sphere is peering deep into star-forming regions and revealing more high detail than would be expected. Equally interesting detail is those from the James Webb Space Telescope. Some of the disk features are downright amazing to check out in these new images, whether it's the rings, the spiral-like features, or the way Sphere reveals 3D structure. Extremely impressive. Last but not least, it took a day for him to do it, but Dr. Phillips at SpaceWeather.com has now concurred that the geomagnetic storm from about two days ago was much stronger than expected. This is a recurring theme these days, and we'll take some time soon to review that concept in a special video and explain why it keeps happening. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.